Harris is in the battleground state of Wisconsin, with more than half of the states now pledging their delegates. CBS News estimates that Harris has the support that she needs to officially become the Democratic presidential nominee. Now, according to Harris's campaign, they have raised more than $100 million since Sunday afternoon. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro fired up a crowd today as well. He's on the list to be Harris's running mate, and he spoke about the campaign today at Shippensburg University. CBS News Philadelphia's Marcelo Bayetto is there. Here at Shippensburg University, all eyes were on Governor Josh Shapiro, who confirmed today he has not been asked and has not started the vetting process for the possible vice presidential pick. I was not asked and I have not submitted paperwork. And so After speaking to a crowd of educators and students outside of Stewart Hall, Governor Shapiro was immediately asked countless questions about possibly running alongside Kamala Harris. Well, I'm going to take my coat off because I feel like I'm going to be stuck up here for a while. <laughs> the vice president should make that decision free from any political pressure. It is her decision to make. She'll make it on the timeline that she so chooses. Although he wouldn't outright confirm if he'd accept the position if offered, he still had words for his possible opponents. Donald Trump brings chaos to everything he does. He ripped away the rights of millions of women to be able to make decisions over their own body. And by the way, if he's returned to the White House, I'm sure he and Vance will try and pass a national ban. That's dangerous. The governor, along with university leaders, held a signing event to announce more funding for higher education. Yeah. It's an issue many young voters feel is important to them as they weigh who should be leading the country next. So knowing that like he's in our corner is huge because there's a lot going on with education and nursing right now that needs a lot of work. I didn't know a lot about him, to be honest. I'm not big on politics, but to hear him and the things that he's open to changing and I wouldn't be opposed to him being our vice president. With so much still up in the air, Shapiro says his focus will stay on his work as governor of the Keystone State. And that's all I'm focused on. At Shippensburg University, Marcella Bayetto, CBS News, Philadelphia.